Hello everyone. What exactly the NIC bonding is? A NIC stands for Network Interface Card that is attaches to your computer. So if you look at your laptop or behind your PC, you will see a little port in there and that port is your NIC. With NIC, which is Network Interface Card, bonding is also known as network bonding. It can be defined as the aggregation or combination of multiple NIC into a single bond interface. Its main purpose is to provide high availability and redundancy. So let's look at our picture. We have this four NIC cards on our computer. So what we do in NIC bonding is we take two ports, we combine them together. And the reason we combine them because what if one port dies we still have another port so this is for the redundancy so another way to make two ports redundant or to have them high availability is you combine them together if a port is one gig and the other port is one gig you combine them together to aggregate them and get the throughput of two gig this is achieved for high availability and link aggregation so NIC bonding procedure is that you type mod prop bonding, which is to get the configuration of your driver, info bonding to get the information of your bonding. Then you create a file called if config bond zero, you added the first ethernet one, you added the second ethernet and you combine them and point to bond zero. If you have NIC one file, you create another NIC two file for the second NIC and then you create a third file called bond zero. You point your NIC1 and NIC2 files toward bond zero. And then what do you do at the end? You restart the network of your computer. So the command is systemctl restart network. So without further ado, I will log into my system and I'll tell you exactly how NIC bonding can be done. And before we start this virtual box, I want you to take its snapshot. The reason I'm taking a snapshot is so we could, we could revert back to its state, which is where it is right now after we do all the configuration. So click on right here. You see snapshot, click on snapshot and right here says take, click on the take, leave the snapshot number one as the name default and click OK. Now it has taken the snapshot. Now I want you to click on setting, go to network, click on network adapter two, check enable network adapter and select bridge adapter. Now we will have two NICs on our computer, which is one here adapter one and adapter two. If you want more adapters, we could go to adapter three and four and check on enable network adapter, but we will work only adapter one and adapter two at this time. And I want you to click okay. So once, once the setting is done, go ahead and click on start. Go ahead and log in as yourself. Okay, when you have the desktop, right click on your desktop and open up your terminal. I would like to make the console, the terminal a little bigger. Okay, go ahead and type if config and do more on the output. And here you will see, now we, we have two network interfaces. One is N ENP 0 S3 and the second one is ENP 0 S8. ENP 0 S8 is the one that we just added to our Oracle virtual box. Now what we want to do is we want to combine these two, three and eight together and make a bond out of these two interfaces. Become root first. Okay, let's clear the screen. Now I will open up a document that I have that has all the commands and configuration in my document.
This document is also added as part of your handouts. So before you do this exercise, I want you to also open up this document from your handouts, have it side by side while you do the configuration of bonding. So I have already opened this document. Okay, so now it says just follow the directions. It says add a new NIC if it does not exist. Install bonding driver, mod prob and bonding. You would need to install this if you don't have bonding enabled. But let's say if you do have it or not. So do mod info bonding. And I want you to do more on it. And once you do more, and if you get the output and description says Ethernet channel bonding driver version 3.7.1, that means you already have the driver installed, which is the mod probe in Linux. So you don't have to worry about installing it. So you can move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to create a new file called icfg bond zero right here. And I have to create this file in this directory in this path so if I copy and paste it's not gonna work so I have to type it so that I go back into our machine and I'll do vi etc sysconfig network scripts cfg dash bond zero now you are in VI mode, hit I to insert, and I want you to start typing exactly what's just written in there. Please make sure, don't make a mistake. Type is bond. Name of this bond is bond zero. Bonding master, meaning who's the master of this bonding is it's a self, so yes. So boot proto. So when you type none or static, it means the same thing. So we'll type none on boot. Yes. IP address. I'm sorry, there's a little mistake. I just, it should be just IP ADDR. The IP that I have picked is 192.168.1.80 because I have already typed this IP before and I know this IP does not exist. Nobody has taken it. But if you wanted to confirm if this IP is not taken, you could just go into, you could open up another terminal and do ping 192.168.1.80. And you will see you, you are not getting a response back on that IP. So it means it's not taken. So I'll use IP. I'm assigning the static IP. Netmask. 255-255-2550 gateway gateway is the IP address of your modem and then bonding underscore options equal mode 5 I'm picking mode 5 and what exactly mod 5 is or me I'm on is this is the speed and the state i have also included that in my document exactly what these options mean and i want you to review them and you will know exactly what it means so now you could just save and exit the file okay once you have that it says the bonding options detail can be found here you see right here it has all the option we picked if you remember we picked option five which is transmit load balancing you could read about it and then MIIMON which is a monitoring MII link monitoring frequency in milliseconds we picked 100 okay so next step is it says edit the first NIC file which is ENP0S3 so 
I am in root directory. I'll go into Etsy, sysconfig. I'll just drag this a little more so you can see it a little better. Sysconfig CD network scripts. And in this directory, I already have a file called Etsy CFG ENP 0S3. Do VI. And now I have here, I said delete the entire content. So how do you delete it? In the VI, you do DD, 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 DD. Keep doing DD, DD, DD until you go to the bottom. You are at the bottom and it says no lines in buffer. That's good. Now hit enter. Sorry, not enter. Uh, hit insert. You have you probably have to hit insert a couple of times to get it. So now keep typing what exactly it's in there. So type Ethernet boot pro none device ENP zero S three on boot. Yes, you want to have that boot hardware address this is a new one now this is the mac address of your enp0 s3 so what is my hardware mac address um you have to open up another terminal in the back drag it and then just type if config and do more and you will see enp0 s3 has a mac address of this so what I will do is I'll drag this a little bit on top. I'll bring the other window in the bar in the back. And now I could type the address 08002 seven C three zero sorry zero E zero E twenty eight verified 27c3028 yes and then hit enter master it's asking you who's your master the master is bond zero which is the other file that we created before that hit enter slave are you a slave meaning this interface is it a slave we'll say yes so check again boot proto boot uh, oh we missed one Oh no, we did not. It's there. Type boot proto device on boot hardware address, which is a Mac address. Master is bond zero and slaves this. Okay, now save and exit. Okay, now follow the directions. Okay, now it says create the second NIC file for ENP0S8. I could create a second one or I could just copy this ENP0S3 and change the name and MAC address. So it would be easier I could just copy ENP0S3 and I name it CFG dash ENP0S3 and take out, replace three with eight. Now it's copied, now VI, CFG ENP 0S8. Now in 0S8, now you have to change this third line, says device 0S3 with 8. Yes, yes. And now the MAC address would be different. Go back to your other command that is open, drag it up, and you will see here the MAC address for ENP 0S8 is this one. So once you have it highlighted, drag it down so you could see it. And now change it. It has it is changed after the three octets. So zero D seventeen nine B. Okay, bond zero master is the bond zero slave. Yes, I am a slave for bond zero. Then right quit and save the file. The file is saved. Now I want to restart the service system CTL restart the network service network restart hit enter by running if config do the more on it and you'll see now the ip that i have assigned or says right here 192 1.80 it's master and the other ports sorry other nics enp 0 s3 and s8 you'll see here right here it says these are slave and slave so 
IP assigned is given 192.161.80. I'm going to take this IP, plug it into my PuTTY session, and see if I could connect to it. 192.168.1.80. Hit enter. Yes, I could connect. This is just a SSH key warning sign. You could just accept it to save it and log in. And yes, there you go. So now you know that your interface is combined together to and pointing it to bond zero. Any other instructions that we have, we could go down. We could also see here, it's telling me that I could verify the setting by doing cat at C pro neck bonding and bond zero. When I do that, I should not have. Okay, let me make this bigger. And now you'll see here when I did the cat, you see it says currently active slave is this one. It is load balancing. Slave interface is this. And second slave interface is this. Now, once it is done, I want you to revert back to your original VM. So just close it, power it off close and says power off the machine you power it off now go to your Oracle virtual machine right here and first once wait for it to power off then go to setting and then come to network come go to network adapter 2 uncheck the one we checked before click OK now it should not have the second adapter but I want you to click now to the snapshot one and click on restore now this is going to restore to the original state where we had it before. Here it will create a, another snapshot of your current state, which I don't want you to do. So uncheck this box and click restore. Now it is restored to exactly the same way where it was before we started this lesson. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and please try it on. This is this this is one of the topic. Is that's very important. You will be working on a physical machines most of the time when you have to do network bonding.